Hey y'all and welcome back to How Do You Cook? Back to Basics. So today I'm going to share with you how I make my simple cup of cobbler made with canned peaches. You don't want to miss out y'all because this is super easy. Okay, so first off I want to show you all the ingredients that I am going to be using in my peach cobbler. So first thing I have one stick of melted butter here. I have one cup of granulated sugar, one cup of self-rising flour, I have one cup of evaporated milk, and I have three cans of peaches with juice. You can get it with heavy juice if you want, but just make sure that you have juice in your peaches. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our butter in, the, in this pan. And we're gonna just move that around, just like that. Now, I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna bring my mixing bowl over and show you what I do then. So before we start adding our ingredients to our casserole dish, I wanted to um, go ahead and add our ingredients to our mixing bowl and show you what that looks like before we add that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my one cup of self-rising flour, my one cup of granulated sugar, put that in there, make sure to get it all out of there, and my one cup of evaporated milk. So I may go ahead and add a little bit of ground cinnamon to this. You don't need to do this, but um, I'm just gonna do it just to give it a little pop of flavor. So that was about a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon right there. And we'll just mix all that up really well. Try to get as much of those clumps out as you possibly can. And you can add more ground cinnamon if you want, or you don't have to add it at all. That's your choice. Okay, I think that's good. So I'm gonna set this over to the side, and I'm gonna get our casserole dish, y'all. So we are going to add our batter to our pan. Now you do not have to grease this pan because you already have a stick of butter in your dish here. So we're just gonna pour our batter down in here. Just get as much out as you possibly can. So I have my peaches here. I'm just gonna add the entire can of peaches. Actually, I'm gonna add all three cans of peaches. And that's basically all you do, y'all. I'm gonna move it around just a little bit, kind of uh, incorporate that butter and the batter that we made in here also. See, I'm not stirring it up much. I'm just trying to get some of that butter incorporated into the middle of this peach cobbler also. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so we added cinnamon to the batter. So what we're gonna do now is add a little bit of cinnamon sugar to the top of our peach cobbler. And then we're gonna pop it in the oven. Y'all, this is the simplest recipe out there. And what, like I said, you do not have to add cinnamon to this if you don't want to. I'm just doing it because it gives it that pop of flavor, extra flavor actually, but um, like I said, you don't have to if you don't want. Okay. Into the oven we go. Okay, y'all, we had just put our peach cobbler in the oven and I set my timer for 30 minutes. I'm gonna check it after 30 minutes and probably and go from there to see about how long it takes. So after 30 minutes, if it needs to be cooked even longer, I'm gonna cook it an extra 10 check it after that, and then cook it another 10 until it becomes completely cooked. So we'll be back when it is ready and bubbling and ready to come out of the oven, y'all. 
Be careful when taking your peach cobbler out of the oven because you can get burned pretty easy. So be careful. Well, y'all, our peach cobbler is ready and it took an hour and 10 minutes in my oven at 350 degrees. And this is what it looks like. Doesn't that look good? Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to try this. It's still really hot, so it might take me just a minute. And get some of that, uh, my mouth is watering y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna get some of that cinnamon topping. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I took a really big bite. <laughs> Y'all, if you want to make a delicious peach cobbler, this is a winner right here, y'all. So all you have to do is throw some things together, pop it in your oven, and an hour and 10 minutes later, you have delicious peach cobbler. Well, y'all, that wraps up this episode on how do you cook back to basics. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button and please do consider subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on what I have coming up next, y'all. I have a treat coming up in the next video and you do not want to miss it. Until next time. Bye-bye now.